Hi, uh, this is Todd Zarwell. I'm the developer and founder of iDoc.com, and I wanted to show you some new features that we've developed for our, um, our redesigned version of our website. Uh, first of all, we've made it easier to log into the website. We know this has been a uh, problem for some users, and it's been a little frustrating that uh, you can't access the site since the point of the site has been to uh, be a quick reference resource. So now it's easier to log in and it's easier to stay logged in so uh, you don't have to deal with those hassles when you want to look up something fast. We've also made it a little bit easier to search for all the information in iDoc and I'll show you that in just a second. Uh, thirdly, we've added GP lenses. This has been a popular request for quite some time and we have finally have added about a thousand different um, GP lenses uh, from about 60 different labs. So uh, I think that feature will be uh, very welcome for a lot of you. Uh, I've also added something I've created a while ago. It's a refraction tutorial and simulator to teach students how to do a subjective refraction. And I won't go into too much detail about that here, but um, I do have another video on YouTube. If you look at the iDoc YouTube channel, uh, you can see more about that. And I've also added a uh, Plaquenil calculator to help you look at um, your patient's dosages by body weight and, and see if they are, they are at increased risk for uh, retinal toxicity. So let me show you a couple of these new features. First of all, just real quickly, I will show you the refracting simulator. Um, this uh, just lets you practice refracting on a virtual patient and our foropter can do all the things that uh, a normal foropter can do or most of the things a normal foropter can do. And you can ask a patient questions and have them read the chart and um, uh, just uh, kind of work through the motions of refracting. But again, I have another video about that on YouTube, so I won't go into too much detail here. Uh, one thing I've added is a universal search bar for searching all the databases in iDoc. So this will search soft contacts, rigid contacts, soft, I'm sorry, uh, topical ophthalmic medications and diagnosis codes. So if, for example, you want to find the, um, oh, uh, the diagnosis code for a PSC, you can either go to the diagnosis code searches um, and load that module, then do a search there. But you can also start from this box here, which is uh, present on every page of the website. So I'll just type in sub uh, capsular and click return and it'll go right to the diagnosis code searches and you can find all the diagnoses that have uh, that particular word in it and get more, get more information about uh, those searches. Um, this works for other things too, like I said. So if you want to find, um, let's say, Timolol, we can search for that. It'll find all the drugs that have that uh, component, and then we can um, click on one of these options and get more information about that, that medication. Uh, let's go to the, one of the newest features, the GP lens searches. So here you can search by lab, so you can look at all the lenses from uh, ABBA Optical, and if you hover over each one, you'll get a little bit more information about um, the company and what type of lens it is. Uh, you can search by name, so if I type in, let's say, renovation, renovation, you can find all the lenses with that word in it. Um, let's just click one. So this will take you to uh, that listing and uh, there's a, quite a variation in how much information we have about particular lenses. As you know, GP lenses are oftentimes made to order. So for a lot of them, um, we don't list as specific of parameters as we do for some of the uh, soft lenses. Let's see, let's go to MagnaClear Plus. And for most lenses, we also, we, we, well, for a lot of lenses, we try to have links to the website or if possible to a package insert. And then you can get more information about fitting the particular lenses. We also have 
uh, parameter searches where you can search by design category. So if you want to find all keratoconus lenses, you can click on that and find all the keratoconus lenses. You can do that for the multiple types of bifocal lenses too. Uh, also, if you want to learn more about materials, this particular lens made from uh, fluoroperm 30, if you click the question mark and click the um, uh, material that you're interested in, it'll go to a page where it shows the DK wedding angle and all the parameters, the different colors that the, uh, the, the, the buttons come in. And uh, we still have the soft lens searches, of course, and that works in a very similar way. You can look by company, you can do parameter searches, um, we have sliders which, like we did on the old site, but now we can get more immediate results. And again, if you hover over the uh, results, you can get a little bit more information about the lens or uh, click on it and it'll give you the, the full listing for the lenses. So I hope that's a good introduction to our new features and I hope you uh, check them out and, um, and uh, well, that's all I have to say. Thank you.